Now, in addition to those 7,500 cases, Los Angeles County also reporting 46 new deaths today. The United States has confirmed 13.7 million cases, along with 270,000 deaths. Many Americans dealing with new restrictions and mask mandates to buy the health care system some time before vaccines finally become widely available. But with cases spiking and those requirements in effect, some are asking, where is the enforcement? The I-team's Lolita Lopez took that question directly to the L.A. County Sheriff. If we were going to a park and you see kids on a playground with their parents, would your deputies engage? Uh, I think my deputy would say, God bless if there's uh, parents there watching over their children and move on. We went to L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva with questions we've been getting. If there's no enforcement when someone defies safer at home orders, will people comply? What we're looking for is people to voluntarily comply and also wear your own mask. Set a good example for other people. At several parks across L.A. County over the last two days, I-Team cameras observed people wearing masks alone, seemingly abiding by the safer at home order that went into effect on Monday. But while beaches, parks and trails are open, playgrounds are supposed to be closed. Closed. Nevertheless, we did see kids climbing and swinging about in one location with adults nearby. We also saw a group of kids practicing soccer. That, too, prohibited right now. In fact, so are all public and private gatherings with people not in your household, except for outdoor religious services and protests, which are constitutionally protected rights. We can shift gears and go to a more strict enforcement model. But that's something that's going to have to be done at a collaborative level. The sheriff says it's also a personnel challenge with the department depleted by budget cuts and with more than 1,000 employees in quarantine and six in the hospital. Still, he says citations have been handed out for failure to wear masks or for being in areas that are closed to the public. I think we, we had a few citations. I think we got over the 100 mark. <clears throat> but... um. It was really a very nominal amount in comparison to the total that could have been cited. This summer, several cities across the county imposed fines as high as $500 for not wearing face coverings in public spaces. The city of Beverly Hills tells us in an email, 428 citations have been handed out for violations, including lack of face covering, business noncompliance, and not following social distancing protocols. And Beverly Hills telling us they expect to collect an estimated $40,000 dollars in fines, money that will go back to the city's general fund. The city has also made thousands of contacts advising individuals of our requirements. The L.A. City Attorney's Office tells the I-Team 79 misdemeanor criminal charges have been filed since spring, specifically non-essential businesses that defied closure orders. Yeah, the sheriff says that deputies do carry masks for people that they encounter that do not have one. They can get one of those. And he also tells us they are mostly looking towards business compliance. And as he put it, not chasing private gatherings at private residences. We also contacted the LAPD, who for now will tell us that they're going to get back to us soon with more details about their enforcement. For the I-Team, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.